What's up guys? Sorry for the lack of videos recently, I've been travelling loads but I'm back and I'm ready to put out some epic new videos for you. Today I'm going to show you how I edit the real camera pan transitions and I did a few in my last vlog, I got a few comments asking how I did it so here it is. So for this effect you really want to get into the habit of panning in and out of shots. Even if you don't plan it out, if you pan in and out of every shot you're going to have a lot of shots to work with. So the three main effects I use to edit these are the flipped effect, the reverse clip tool, and also the speed ramp effect. These are my two original shots here, and as you can see, this one pans up to the right, and this one pans down to the left. So initially, like, this just wouldn't work. So the first thing I'm going to do is stabilise both of these clips. For these camera pan transitions, I really I think the inertia cam stabilization works better. Since these both pan out at the end, what I'm going to do is keep the first shot the same, but on this shot, I'm actually going to reverse it. Reverse clip. And now what that's done is put the pan at the start of the shot. So now that this shot pans up to the right, and this shot comes in with a pan from the, from the bottom. The next thing I'm going to do is add the speed ramp effect. So as this starts moving, click the shot, press shift and B and add the speed ramp effect there. I'm going to speed this up by eight. And then I'm going to do the same on this shot. I'm going to go to just before it stops, hold shift, press B, create a speed ramp, reverse fast times four, just like that, put them together. And there you go. That's made a nice camera pan transition. If you want to change the speed of the transition, then all you need to do is just drag these out a little bit. What you can also do to make it look smoother is just add a cross dissolve in between the two shots. If I just press Command T, it's going to add the default transition in there. You want to make it as small as possible, so zoom right in and cut the transition and it's just going to smooth out the transition a little bit. Okay, so that's one. Now I'm going to show you how to use the flip effect. So with these two shots, I'm just going to stabilize them. This one pans down to the left and this one pans up to the left. So the first thing I'm going to do is reverse this shot, but because it pans down to the left and this one pans down to the right now, I'm going to have to use the flip effect. And now this shot pans down to the left and it pans down to the left there. I'm just going to add the speed ramp effect. So yeah, there you go. That's how you can use the flipped tool to do that one. And that's pretty much it. The more you pan in and out of your shots when you're filming, the more footage you're going to have to work with. Like every shot is different, but you can get some really perfect seamless transitions doing, doing this effect. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.